All right, welcome back. Stephanie Weaver joining us now. Rain and back in the 90s? Yes, let's do the happy dance. Let's do the rain dance. I Come tried, with me. See, I tried to dance at 530 and we got so many viewer complaints. <laughs> no, News, you didn't. News you director called lying. and said, don't ever do that again. So I have to stay motionless. Well, I'll do the rain dance. Do it for both of us. Paul right. Sakala is going to be here in a minute. He can do it as well. I'll ask him then, yes. But I have to thank the clouds a little bit because the clouds have produced some beautiful sunsets this evening. Take a look at this photo from David Grinney from the Catalina foothills. Just gorgeous. Another thing these clouds have done produced the rain. In fact, east and southeast of Tucson, Len took this photo today. Just gorgeous. And Greg McCown sent this one near Vail. You can see the thunderstorms in the background as well. Just gorgeous photos. Of course, you can always send your photos over to us as well at weather at KVOA.com. And we're hoping we get some rain of our own fingers crossed because we are in such a dry streak. 101 days since last measurable rainfall. The record to beat would be 114 days. We're already in fifth place at 101, tying the record set in 2018 95. But I think that dry streak is about to end, and that is all because of the second named tropical storm, and that is named Bud. It is currently moving parallel to Mexico, but as you can see, as I move this further, this is going to hit Baja. This indicates it could move right southeast and south of Tucson, and that will create some big impacts for us here in the old Pueblo. In fact, if we look at the radar right now, we already see that moisture that's moving east from the Cochise and Santa Cruz County areas. But later in the week, we see that much of this rain moves through our area. In fact, by Friday, we see that rain right now looking at a quarter of an inch. Some models predicting up to an inch. Some areas around us predicting up to half of an inch as well. So we'll have to keep monitoring this. But the good news is here that we could see some rain come the middle of the week, and we certainly need it. Now, high temperatures switching gears. It was quite hot today here in southern Arizona. 105 was the high today in Tucson. The average 99 degrees, so above average 108 today in Phoenix and in Casa Grande. It was quite a hot day, and it's going to be hot tomorrow as well. Shocker, 104 tomorrow in the Tucson Metro, in the 70s in the mountains, and 90s in Santa Cruz and Cochise counties, and mostly sunny skies. Now tonight we will bottom out in the 70s and staying fairly mild for nighttime lows and be into the hundreds once again tomorrow for daytime highs. Santa Cruz and Cochise counties, 60s for nighttime lows, upper 90s to hundreds for daytime highs. Here's a look at the seven day forecast, 104 across the board until Wednesday, but then those chances for rain start picking up. 10% chance for rain Tuesday and Wednesday, 30% chance for Thursday and Friday and Saturday, a 40% chance for rain and a dip in temperatures to the 90s. Now we have to see Paul do that rain dance. All right, well, there's no reason to delay anymore. Let's just get Let's right over to Paul. <laughs> I gotta do it outside though, and I gotta do it when we can predict some rain here.